you know, obviously we're all excited. Um, and first of all, hats off to Creighton. They have a great program. This is a great facility. They were class from the first time we got here. Um, their players, the coaching staff, um, to, to play against a team like that and to advance is uh, quite an accomplishment for our kids, but our hats off to them. For our players, this was a goal for our team from day one. We, uh, we got in the locker room on the first day and felt that we could be here where we are today. And for what this team just did, accomplished to go on the road four games and play four of the most renowned programs in the country and come away with the result is quite an accomplishment. And I'm extremely proud for these guys. And uh, I'm excited for the people back home because the city of Baltimore and the state of Maryland has really taken us under their wing. So uh, it's, it's a great day for us right now. Questions uh, for the student athletes. Kay Banjo had the uh, final PK and uh, Bill Eaton to the far right. Both players, obviously, you guys have been in PK situations before. Yeah. Did that figure into anything tonight? Um, we, we practice it day in and day out. Every practice, at the end of every practice, we have to get a PK shootout because you never know. And today is one of those days that it came up again, and we just had to do what we had to do. Finish the game off. Yeah, we're. I mean, we're very comfortable in that situation. You know, we've been there before. We've won games in the past on it, and we practice it all the time. And uh, you know, we're pretty comfortable with it. And today we advanced. I guess as a goalkeeper, Billy, when when they miss their first two attempts, there is that put. Does that take pressure off you or put pressure on you? Uh, I mean, every, every kick's the same. Um, treat everyone with respect. Try and make the best read possible. It's not going to change the way I, you know, read the kick and uh, make a dive. So, you know, even though they missed the first two, I was still, you know, felt the same, same way for every kick. Again, to both players, your emotions at this point. Obviously, something you for the whole season. <laughs> Unbelievable. Especially coming from the program that I came from, I never thought that this would happen. Um, he called me and told me, you have a great chance here. And here I am, and I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Very. Obviously, we're all you know, very excited with the situation. But we, like I said before, we, you know, we feel like we belong here. We feel like we're a team that belongs at this level. Um, and you know, biggest thing, we started saying as soon as the game was over, we're not done yet. You know, we, got, we got more work to do. And, uh, we're confident going into the Final Four. Yeah, it looked like that, that match was between two teams that were pretty even on the match. Did the player out there, did you get that sense? Yeah, it was, it was, it, it was going to be a tough match. We knew that coming in. I mean, obviously, both teams wants to advance, and we're going to do whatever we have to do. Whether it's fight, play dirty, whatever you have to do to win, you know? And it clearly showed out there, clearly going to the PKs, and we came out victorious, and that's what we asked for. It's at that point in the game you you spent a lot of energy in the game and you just have to pick and choose when you go. They they had a a good ten minutes for him, so do we. So that's 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 how the game goes. It goes both ways. Yeah, I mean that's just that's just the way that the game's gonna go. You know, you're gonna have your ups and downs. Um, you know, during the downs, we're able to lock it in and handle the pressure and get out of it. So, you know, we're just forcing to advance today and excited about it and think we deserve it. Yeah, I mean, we, we take pride in being uh, road warriors, as the schools say. And now, um, you know, every game's a game. We treat every team with respect. Every team we play has been fantastic. And, you know, we think we're a pretty good team ourselves. So, um, you know, if we defied the odds, um, you couldn't, couldn't really tell anyone in our locker room that. And, you know, they wouldn't believe that before the game. extremely evenly matched. Um, I thought offensively they had two strikers who were really good. Um, 
And I, I think what really helped us was the games that we played the last two weeks. You know, when you play against uh, every game we played has been a, a dog fight for us. So uh, we knew, we kind of expected some of the stuff they threw at us. Uh, the facility, everything, the travel has an effect on the game. But uh, I thought the game was actually pretty even. I thought the first half, uh, the ebb and flow, they had opportunities, and but so did we. And I thought, like you said, uh, the overtime, the first overtime, we really took it to them. And then the second overtime, we were kind of holding on. But I think that happens at this time of the year. Um, you're not going to get one team really dominate the other. The fact that you, know, you guys have been through these two situations, from a coaching standpoint, how much does that help? Oh, I think it helps a lot. You know, we're very confident when we go up there. We practice it a lot. I, I put these guys in situations constantly um, that they have to feel the pressure. I mean, we actually walk through the whole scenario. Um, you know, because I, I, I do believe that people can go up and hit penalty kicks, but when you have to take that long walk from half field and the crowd's cheering and uh, there's a lot more pressure. And, and I've known guys like today, Gaetan was the guy that missed for us. He hasn't missed yet. And he hasn't missed in one practice. He hasn't missed. So, you know, you, you got to go up there and take a shot. And, uh, you know, but I think we have a, a quiet confidence about us, whether it's PKs or, or even just playing the game. So, like I said, we have a. I'm very, uh, I'm very blessed to have a very talented group that's very confident, and I think nationally that we've been under the radar for the last couple of years. Um, but in our locker room, the confidence is there, game in, game out. Last question: You've been in this game pretty long. I guess to do what you guys have done, just kind of put it in perspective. Um, I, I can't really put it into words. I've been in the game a long time. I, I won a national championship at the professional level. Um, to do this with this group of players, um, you know, I, I think we believed all along that we can do it. But I think, you know, everyone else doubted us across the country, and it's unbelievably special. And I can't probably put it into words. But when you've been doing this for 24 years, and, and your dream is to get to the Final Four, uh, and now it's there, you know, the dream's not ending. And that's why I call us a team of destiny because I think uh, we were destined to be here. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.